Hey, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about what led up to me getting a tattoo on the bottom of my foot. Before I start this video, I wanna say that I did not pick the bottom of my foot uh, to disrespect any culture or to make it seem like I was stepping on any culture. I will say why I chose that spot later in the video. So I thought I would go over the backstory of what led up to me getting this tattoo. So at the time I was 19 years old and I was at the tail end of a three month internship in Guatemala. And at the very end of the internship, I was able to have one week off. For this one week off, a good friend of mine visited me and we decided to go to Patan, uh, Guatemala to visit Tikal, Guatemala, which is up north. Tikal is a Mayan ruin and it's, very, it's a very beautiful, very magical place to visit. So if you ever are in Guatemala, definitely go up north and visit Tikal. You will definitely not regret it. It will be an amazing experience. By the time at the end of my three month internship and when I got back to where I was staying in San Marcos on Lake Atitlan. I had gotten to know the tattoo artist, the local tattoo artist in San Marcos, San Marcos inking. And so I was thinking, well, what would be a good way to sum up this, you know, three month internship, this journey that I had just gone on. And I decided that I wanted to get the Tikal ruin on my, on my body somewhere since the trip with my friend was very special and very very magical so i wanted to have that to really remember guatemala and always have that with me always i wanted to get the tattoo in a place where you know other people wouldn't be able to necessarily know it was there or other people wouldn't be able to see it so it wouldn't interfere with like work or in like a professional environment and so i chose the bottom of my foot. And because I thought it would be a cool and different place to get a tattoo. I definitely beforehand did not truly consider just how much this tattoo would hurt and really like the placement of the tattoo. I knew that it was going to hurt, of course, it's the bottom of your foot, but I just did not anticipate the pain that this was going to have on me. Um, it was really, really, really painful. Um, yeah, it just, it was very painful. It was a very painful experience, but very unique too. The overall tattoo, it's semi-small and it must have taken around, I would say 45 minutes to complete because we did take breaks in between, especially when it got very, very painful at the end. My friend was with me and she witnessed this and she was holding my hand and the tattoo artist, he was nervous because he had never given a tattoo in this placement before and I was nervous since I've only had one other previous tattoo to this and so this was a big step up for me and I was shaking a lot and somehow I didn't pass out even though they thought I, I might. I somehow was just really sweaty and like shaking but I did somehow make it through which is really cool. It surprisingly hasn't faded as much as I thought it would a little bit over a year later. Um, I thought it would be like gone by now, but the lines aren't as dark as they once were, but you can definitely tell what the tattoo is. And I know sometime in the future, I will have to properly get it touched up, but that's fine. The tattoo artist did an amazing job and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. It was an honor to be able to make it on his on his wall of tattoos. Uh, so that was pretty cool. He, he said that was one of the craziest tattoos that he's ever given and he's been doing tattoos for a long time so that was definitely really cool uh, very cool guy it's a very memorable experience and something that i will always have with me and an overall great way to sum up my adventures and my work in guatemala at the time let me know if you have any tattoos or if you want to get a tattoo i will be doing another video of my story to my first tattoo and what led up to that and what it means to me. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next video.